Hey everybody, this is Mondo. Today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your Vortec Ultimate Tiki Torch. With your unpacked items, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a hammer and a block of wood, or a rubber mallet. You're gonna use a stake like this that you can buy at your local hardware store. Start off by taking your hammer and your stake and your block of wood. Like I mentioned, you can use a rubber mallet, which is preferable. But if you don't have one, a hammer and a block of wood will work. Just don't hit the stake directly with the hammer because you will bend it or dent it. As you're pounding it into the ground, just make sure that it stays straight. Then take one section of the pole and one of the couplings. Slip the coupling over the end of the pole and using the Phillips screwdriver, tighten down the set screw on the coupling. Make sure you tighten it enough so that the pole doesn't slip or jiggle. Then take the pole and slip it down into the stake that you've put into the ground already. There's a set screw that you can then tighten against the pole. One trick is to make sure that you push the pole down into the ground a little bit before you tighten the set screw and this will help hold it more rigidly. Then take the other section of the pole and place it into the mounted coupling. Tighten down the set screw. Over time, you'll want to make sure that these set screws haven't come loose and give them a little tighten. And take the other coupling, place it on top of the pole and tighten it down. Using your Phillips screwdriver, tighten the set screw against this stem. Next, remove the wick and the washer and set them aside so you can fill up the cup with torch fuel. Make sure not to overfill with torch fuel and cause spillage. Next, replace the washer and the wick. Now you're ready to install the glass. Take a panel of glass and slip it down into the slot on the top plate. Press back against the metal finger and then down into the slot on the bottom plate. If the metal finger isn't giving enough pressure against the glass to hold it in place firmly, before putting the glass in, press the finger forward just a bit. We have a two wick system here uh, with two holes in the top plate where we've already put the two wicks through and flared out the top of the wick into a uh, flower shape, which is a really nice big surface area. Uh, for a really great burn. We have the halo ring here, which we're gonna slip down inside and put that around the wicks. And we have the spinner, which we're gonna slip down between the panes of glass and rest it on top of the halo ring. All right, it's that simple. We're gonna put in our other piece of glass. And uh, one thing about this system is that it really offers a beautiful ribbony effect uh, to the flame while cutting down on smoke and soot. And you can actually get variations in the flame by manipulating and repositioning the, uh, the spinner, which is really cool to do. If you wanna do that and then post some social media uh, videos or pictures and tag us in those and let us know how we're doing and how much fun you're having. All right, have a good day. Talk to you guys soon.